This video will contain some very minor spoilers for The Rise of Skywalker. The visual dictionary for the movie has confirmed that the planet at the very start of the film is Mustafar. Kylo Ren is after a Sith Wayfinder, which will guide him to the hidden planet Exegol and one of the two remaining in the galaxy once belonged to Darth Vader. Kylo finds what he's looking for in the ruins of Vader's castle, but why does the planet look so different? Why do trees grow where once there was nothing but lava? The answer can be found in the VR experience Vader Immortal from ILM X-Lab. Its three episodes tell us the history of Mustafar. Long ago, the planet was described as a lush garden world ruled by a Force user named Lady Corvax. She became obsessed with unlocking the secrets to immortality when her husband fell in battle. She stole a Mustafarian relic called the Bright Star and installed it into a powerful engine that could supposedly bring her husband back to life. Instead, the misuse of the Bright Star transformed Mustafar into the hellscape we are more familiar with, and it trapped Lord Corvax in a state of limbo, neither living nor dead. The story of Vader Immortal picks up shortly before the events of Rogue One and the original trilogy. Vader tracks down one of the last living descendants of Lady Corvax, a Force-sensitive smuggler able to unlock the secrets of her ancient palace. The smuggler finds the Bright Star and delivers it to Vader who hopes to use it to revive Padme, but with the help of Lord Corvax, the smuggler is able to destroy the Bright Star, releasing energies that would not only allow him to pass into the afterlife, but also begin to heal the planet. More than three decades later, we can see that the healing process has indeed begun. The planet has started to cool down, and Kylo Ren fights on the very ground where Vader's castle once stood. The soil has become fertile, and iron trees now grow in the spot, which has become known as Corvax Finn. I don't know if any of this was intended by J.J. Abrams, or if it was all put together for the visual dictionary after the fact. We wouldn't even know for sure that Mustafar appeared in the film without the book, although it certainly looked like the planet from orbit. I was hoping to see Kylo Ren visit Mustafar and the ruins of Vader Castle in the film, and we kinda did, just not in any obvious way, but it's still cool. I also really appreciate seeing the connection to Vader's castle and proof that the planet is finally being restored to its true self, even if it's gonna take a long time to get there. But that's why the planet looks so different in The Rise of Skywalker. If you have more questions about the movie, leave them in the comments and maybe I'll answer them in future videos. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.